You're live on Lunch Break Live. Hi, you guys. I am Chef Last Leader. So welcome to my kitchen. Jane, I'm so excited to have you here. We're going to cook up some fall recipes, one of my favorite fall recipes. We're doing quinoa stuffed sweet potatoes. I've already prepped some of it, but you can see we've got our sweet potatoes, we've got cranberries, we've got onions, almonds, some kale. It's just gonna be a, a party of fall flavors in your mouth. So Woo! let's get cooking okay. and, and started for sure. First off, we're going to hollow out some of these sweet potatoes. I've already baked these and you want them to be a little bit less than um, how you would eat them as is. You want them a little less cooked because you want the skin to be a little so bit more. So don't overcook cooked. them. Don't like, overcook them. Did you them. boil them or how did you cook them? No, I baked them. You want to bake them so that you're able to scoop it out. If you boil them, then they'd be all mush. Okay. So you just put them in the oven and how long do you bake them for? For about what 20 minutes. These were cooked for about 20 minutes at 375. Mm. And what do you do with those? Those little casings there. So the casings is what we're gonna stuff the quinoa into once we get that done. And now all of this center stuff, you can have for another recipe. I'll probably make some sweet potato soup with these. I make a sweet Ooh. potato carrot soup wow. that I just love. And mm. maybe we'll do that on the next Facebook. Yes, live. I like it. So, and you don't even need to be that, um, perfect with them. If there's a little sweet potato left in there, that's exactly what you want because you want some of that flavor. Yeah, you get like a little bit of the, it reminds me of the potato skins yes. that were so popular like in the 80s. I don't know if they're still popular. I, I love I those restaurants. I still love them. <laughs> I, I love stuffed sweet potato or any potato skin, yeah. really. And you can make them vegan so easy. Yeah, well, you can make are. anything vegan easy. Let's be real. So tell us about yourself while we're doing this. I mean, because you are a TV star, you've been in the soap Desire, and I desire to hear more about your vegan journey. Oh my journey. gosh! Well, I feel very bad for anybody that watched that show, except for the cast members that hopefully are watching right now. And I love all of you so much. Um, that was a really fun time in my life. I loved being on TV, I yeah. even love, more so probably loved um, being Leslie the Lab Girl, which people might know about with Bill Nye the Science Guy, oh. which was super fun and got me into the idea of going into education. Uh -huh. And so then I switched over to food and uh, just love teaching people how to cook and how to eat healthy and inspire them to, to love vegetables and fruits and, you know, kind of for everybody, including yeah. all those animals. Yes, it okay. is. Okay, so we've got the potatoes sort of hollowed out, and we're gonna come over here to the skillet and get mm, cooking. Fabulous. With everything else, so you wanna come okay. on over? Yes, I do. Uh, fabulous kitchen that you have here, and thank, thank you for you. inviting us over to oh be gosh. here. I'm so happy it's to terrific. have you. It's terrific, yeah. Um, you are really an inspiration because, you know, you're using the celebrity that you have to spread the word about something that is good for us and good for the planet. You saw, yes. you, we've all seen all the storms and animal agriculture is, you know, a leading cause of all those storms. Yes, this mm -hmm. is just so much better for all the people, for all the animals, for the planet, for yourself mostly. I mean, the health benefits from eating this kind of food is just out of this world. How long have you been vegan? I stopped eating meat when I was seven or eight. My mom and I argue about which one it was. <laughs> uh, but I would have done it sooner. I just don't love the taste of meat. I always felt like there was something not right about eating animals. And so uh, it was a really early decision. Ah. Uh, yes, yeah, somebody at school said, oh, are you a vegetarian? I was like, oh, yes, I am. And I came home, told my mom, she was not as excited as I was that I learned the word vegetarian. Uh -huh. uh, but they, they may do. And you know, being Italian, we made homemade dinners every single night from scratch. And that's what really got me in the kitchen. I mean, as soon as I could stand, I was in the kitchen with my grandmother and great grandmother and mother preparing meals, making pizza, rolling out pasta doughs. And so it was, it was a natural thing for me to just be in the kitchen with my mom all the time. So I started veganizing whatever she was making for dinner. Wow. And so I would just take the meat out and make my own version of it. And uh, I loved it. I loved it. I never imagined that it would turn into a career and I would be a chef, but uh, I, I always loved being in the kitchen. Wow. Well, you were in the kitchen again. So what are we doing here? Yeah. So we're just waiting for these onions to heat up. Some of the joy of working with an electric burner. Oh, yeah. We have it too. To, to yeah. heat up. But it's coming. 
It's covered. Yeah, this is, you know, when the onions start caramelizing, you want to wait for them to caramelize. Yeah, you definitely want to wait for them to get a little bit of a soft edge on them before we do anything else. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a little pinch of salt in here mm -hmm. because salt makes everything taste better, fortunately and unfortunately. Oh, it smells so good. I just read this horrible article about how there are microplastics in yes. like, what, what was the statistic? Do you remember? It was like so many, People so much of the salt. Now have microplastics in their body. Yeah. And, you know, if when you eat a... Uh, an onion or a potato or a sweet potato, you're not going to get the microplastics. That's for sure. That's true. So That's it's true. another reason to eat plant-based. Yes. Well, <laughs> and you're not getting the hormones and the antibiotics and the stress and all of the other things that are coming from an animal. And you're getting nutrient-dense foods. People think that you can survive on animals alone, and you cannot. You no. need the nutrients that are only found in plants to survive. Yeah. So now that these onions are going, oh. I'm going to put in some dried cranberries. These are dried mm. organic cranberries. And I'm gonna put them in when the onions are frying because that's gonna help plump mm. them up a little bit and get wow. the moisture black back in there. And so so those are cranberries and onions, something I wouldn't have normally thought of. No, but yes. you're gonna love it. I know, so but I can't wait in. till I taste this. Yeah, that's yeah. always the best part about coming over to my house. Yeah. And there's always food to be had. Yeah. This and is now fantastic. that I know that you're a neighbor and you're right down the street. <laughs> yeah. You'll be here all fall long. Oh, I love it. I love it. A neighbor who can cook and vegan. Yes. That, that's a dream come true. Well, you know, I do uh, cooking segments at my place. I know. And uh, we have a neighbor who's vegan-ish and I give him the leftovers and he loves oh, I them. I love that. Yeah. And he just loves it. He loves the Beyond Meat burgers, Beyond Meat sausages. He gets it all. Fantastic. And basically he's just automatically become vegan as a result of that. I love that. Yeah. The, so find, find your vegan-ish neighbor and give him the leftovers. Yeah. Oh, my neighbors love me. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. But it's always, it's always so great. I mean, look, we're going to have so many of these leftovers. Anybody yeah. want to come over for stuck quinoa <laughs> sweet potatoes? Yeah. Now, did you invent this recipe yourself? I did. So this was kind of a funny thing. I was over at my girlfriend's house and there was about 15 of us over there and everyone started getting hungry and we we're like, well, what should we do? What should we eat? And we were going to order. And I was like, I'll whip something up. And I just went into her kitchen and I opened and I saw everything that she had. And so I just started making it. I was making the quinoa and then um, made some sweet potatoes. And I was like, you know what? I want to all of this just sounds good together. So I'm gonna put it all together in one neat package. And everyone loved it so much. And this recipe has just been such a huge hit for me. It's been pinned on Pinterest over half a million times. What? And it's always a fall favorite of my followers. So that's why I thought I would share it with you today. Thank you. And if for those who uh, wanna follow you on your social media, where do they go? Okay, everything is Leslie Durso. On Facebook, it's Chef Leslie Durso, but on Instagram, it's just Leslie Durso. Now we're going to put in a bunch of kale that I've chopped up into bite-sized pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we all know about, some people say, and I used to say, I'm not crazy about kale, but I didn't know about stripping the kale. Yeah. And when I found out about stripping the kale, I was like, oh, I love this, because I'm not eating the stems. Yeah. <laughs> well, the stems are definitely tougher, and they're not quite as tasty. So yeah. you definitely got to strip the kale. And if you're going to eat it raw, you really have to massage it down with some olive oil yeah. and some salt to kind of break down the fibers because it can be yeah. a little tough for people yeah. to digest. But once you break it down, it's much easier. Yes. So we're just going to grind in a few turns of black pepper. Mm, and lovely. really, really simple. You don't need a whole lot of seasoning in this because you're getting so much from the cranberries. Oh, the cranberries, yeah, they provide a, a very sweet, so you've got sort of sweet and savory. Yes. Yeah. So now that's going. So this is quinoa, tricolored quinoa that I just cooked uh -huh. in some vegetable broth because wow. it gives it, again, more yeah. flavor. And it's basically like with the vegetable broth, two cups of vegetable broth, one cup of dried quinoa. Yes, it's just like rice. Two, one. two to one. Yeah. So Nothing could that be easier. I can actually make quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that you are probably a really good cook. Actually, no. <laughs> but I'm learning. I, I mean, I'm learning, that. learning, learning. Everybody is a good cook. You just have to do it more. It's like singing. We all have vocal cords. We just have to have that confidence to exactly. use them. Exactly. Yeah, look exactly. at this. And is there a special beautiful, name for right? this? 
No, it's just my quinoa stuffed sweet potatoes. Quinoa stuffed sweet potatoes. I love it. Look how now, fast this is. I toasted some sliced almonds, mm -hmm. and we're going to put those in there for some oh. crunch because you've got to have texture, right? Oh, yeah. Texture. So tell me about that. How do you come up with these? Like, you want to have sweet, you want to have savory, you want to have texture as well. Sweet, salt, fat, acid are the four major flavors that you yes. want on a plate. Uh -huh. Acid is definitely something that's come into fashion more recently. What is? Acid. Oh, so gosh, cooking with, um, making sure that there's always a bright acid element on the plate. Like so what? lemon, lime, oh, yeah. vinegar, acidic, yeah. anything acidic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fabulous. Yeah, so we've got the cranberries for that in this. We've got the little bit of salt. We've got the kale for the umami. We've got the almonds for, again, more umami flavor. And this is done, so we're gonna bring that. Oh my God, that was so fast. I know. I mean, less than 15 minutes, we have this fabulous meal that could probably feed a lot of people. It'll feed a lot of people. This is a Thanksgiving favorite oh, at my family. Thanksgiving, or and as I would say, and you probably too, thanks living. Thanks living. Yes. Definitely the way to go. Yeah. So we've got that, and now we're just gonna take our spoon, and we're gonna spoon this mixture. So tell me about your cooking right show here. now. Sure, uh, I, you've, I've got a YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to, okay, which again, you can find just will. by finding Leslie Durso. Leslie Durso. Um, but then I also have a show on FabFitFun TV called Accidentally Vegan, because oh. that's how I describe my food. Yeah. It's vegan, obviously, but it's accidentally vegan in that you wouldn't necessarily think it up front. Yeah. I use a lot of foods like this, whole real ingredients that everybody loves, just prepared in a slightly different way to make it a little bit more exciting. Wow, that is fantastic. And uh, that channel is fun. Fun Fit Fun is a subscription box. That's how most oh, of you probably know it. Yeah. And then when you subscribe to the box, you also get a subscription to the channel, the oh. online channel. Okay. So that's where you can find my show. Oh, wonderful. Okay, gotta check it out. This is, look how beautiful this is. Right? I'm gonna do what I call a drone shot. Do a drone shot. And these are shot. so healthy sweet potatoes oh my gosh so good that is so you. beautiful now listen uh i am going to taste test one but i want to save some for pretty pictures for our website oh, we've jane got plenty more. we've got plenty more so, that we can make uh, for pretty pictures wow look at that how gorgeous Woo! all right i tell you what you want me to taste test now i definitely do okay if how you about come I around it? yes you come around uh, come around here, grab this, and then I'll run around and just don't don't play with it. Just sort of hold it like I that. I won't Thank touch you so it. Much. I promise. Yes. Now I only say that because the other day a very fabulous chef and a wonderful woman she started spinning it, and if you go low, it can start flipping. Yeah. So I am very excited to be here. Um, I am just totally blown away by this dish. Look how gorgeous. Look how fast. We've been on Lunch Break Live less than 15 minutes, literally yeah. like 15 minutes max. And, and this is, look at this. I mean, this is unbelievable. You know, the great part about this recipe too for Thanksgiving is you can stuff them into the sweet potatoes like this. Yeah. And you can pop them in the fridge. Yeah. yeah. And you can just throw them in the oven the day of to heat them back up. I might make this for thanks living, or I should say my girlfriend, that snarky vegan girl, I might recommend this, because she does the sweet potatoes. She does oh, mashed sweet potatoes. But this could be a fun little alternative. Well, you could do that on the side too, because you've dug out all of the insides of those potatoes. It's perfect for mashed sweet potatoes. This is delicious! Yay! It's like delicious! It? Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God! This is unbelievable, because it has the sweetness, but it's savory. It's got the crunch from the almonds. You're a genius. Oh, you're too mm. kind. No, I mean, it's like, uh, this is like my new favorite dish. Oh, I'm so happy. It's oh my so God. easy. And again, the nutrients in this oh are overflowing. God. I mean, you really are only using about a tablespoon of olive oil to, to cook up all of the, oh the onions God. and the cranberries. So there's so many nutrients in here and it you don't have to sacrifice. Rich. Oh, good. Yeah, very rich. Like, you know, sometimes we eat super healthy, and there are a lot of people I know who are literally rails, and, and you know, when you see how they cook, they are cooking, and I admire them. I'm just, I'm a person who, you know, uh, I, I like the vegan pastries, and I like the <laughs> vegan, 
I saw a vegan croissant when I was in San, uh, South Carolina the other day, and I was like, I'm not leaving till I get a vegan croissant because I, I thought I couldn't have a croissant anymore. But yeah. then I found this incredible vegan croissant. Well, there's also one at the farmers market here in Mar Vista. Mm. Vegan croissants. Mm. So we'll have to go together. We'll do another. I love it. We'll do a live. But what's amazing about this is, it tastes sinfully delicious. You know what I mean? It tastes like it's filled with like all the fats and all the oil and the vegan cheeses and the vegan butters, but it's not. We watched her make it. It's totally healthy. It's simple ingredients just done in an unexpected way. It's fantastic. Yay. I mean, honestly, I would like to make this every day. Okay. I good. would like to eat this like every day. Well, you can. Now, could you do this with potatoes? You could do this with regular potatoes for sure. Mm -hmm. Idaho potatoes, you probably don't want to do it with red or yellow potatoes. Okay. Um, but what the Idaho this? potatoes with the nice. I feel very Christmassy. I feel like. Right? Yeah, like it's almost like a Christmas, a holiday. It has a very holiday feel to it. Yeah, well, the colors are beautiful and mm -hmm. those flavors are definitely mm. um, familiar at the holidays. Let me get back behind there because there may be some sure. people with questions for you. All I see so. is looking delicious. <laughs> delicious looking. Well, we're going to get, we'll get more as we um, spread this around. So, yeah, tell okay. us a little bit about. Um, I'll make some more. Yeah. Um, yeah, make another one and then um, a little bit about, you know, your journey uh, again and, and how you were using your YouTube channel and your other TV channel to make a difference. Sure, absolutely. Well, what my biggest passion right now is is consulting and veganizing menus all over the world. So I'm working oh. with the Four Seasons now. What? Oh my God. Uh, you buried the lead, girl. The uh, Four Seasons? Yeah, so I work with the Four Seasons down in Pucha Mesa, Mexico. I'm their vegan chef. Mm. So if you would like to go on a vegan vacation, the Four Seasons Pucha Mesa, Mexico, not only has vegan options and what you would normally find at a hotel where you'd have to, you know, order a side of this or a side of that. The Four Seasons Punta Mita Mexico has full vegan menus on all of their what? restaurant options oh across the entire resort. You could be there for three weeks and not taste all of the amazing oh my food God. that we have there. How fantastic. It's really exciting. We have a new restaurant opening down there in December, which will have a very large portion of the menu dedicated to plant-based dining. Uh, and so you can come down, you can enjoy with your family. It's super family friendly. It's right on the beach. It's absolutely stunning. It's only a two hour flight from Los Angeles into Puerto Vallarta. I'm just pitching the four seasons like mad right now. It's like well, a little commercial. Yeah, well, good because you know what? If you have plant-based options, then you know it's it's responsible corporate behavior, and mm -hmm. um, it's good for the planet. It's good for people. It's it's you can have a healthy vacation. I mean, we all know how. I, obviously, we remain vegan, but our our sort of diet goes to hell in a handbasket when you're traveling a lot because for sure. it's very hard to get the kind of vegan options you want. But right, you so you end there. up eating a lot of French fries. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Um, I, I know the drill. I travel a lot for work. But no, and the Four Seasons, you know, and we're finding such success with it because it's not just vegans ordering the food. It's anyone that wants to eat healthier. And I mean, you know, when you go to a beach resort and you're running around in a little bikini, the last thing you want to do is sit down and eat a big, giant, heavy, yes. greasy meal. Yes. You want something light and fresh and delicious. Yes. So we're able to provide that for you. Yeah, Chelsea Davis says, sign us up. Everybody's yes, excited. And it's also one of the most pet friendly ah, resorts what? in in the world. So you can bring your pooch with you. They even have doggy cabanas. What? And we have three vegan options mm -hmm. on the dog menu. How you cool are is kidding that? Me. No, I we even Okay, put we may have to go Jane and Jane, Mexico and, and cover that. I that think that you amazing. definitely need to cover oh, that. Oh yeah. Now <laughs> let me ask you a question. Yes. How does that all come about? Um, that came about, I was down there speaking at a, another retreat and I was just eating like a normal person and again, we're in Mexico and so I'm ordering a side of tortillas, a side of grilled veggies, a side of black beans and making my own food. And I, that's what I ate every day. And I met the general manager, John O'Sullivan, if you're out there, hi, I adore you. And um, he said, well, what do you think of the food? And I was really honest with him. And I said, it's very disappointing that you don't have more options for vegans, vegetarians, lactose intolerant, gluten-free. They really didn't have much of that um, at all. And so he said, okay, well, how do you fix us? 
and I sat down with him and we had a long conversation about what that would look like and to tum to tum to tum here I am uh, almost a year later and they have a extensive beautiful very successful vegan program there. this is what I notice is that when when these restaurants and these hotels and these other corporate entities make the switch they find it very successful. Oh yeah. The, the truth is nearly 40% of Americans are trying to eat more plant-based. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, a statistic. CNBC, which is, you know, not a, a vegan <laughs> publication. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. And um, the meat alternative sector has jumped 22% in 2017. Huge. So we're seeing that, you know, Beyond Meat is now seeking an initial public offering is going public. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing the change. Do you notice the change? Definitely. I mean, the demand is through the roof. Um, and I always say, like, my job as a vegan chef is not to make the best vegan option on the menu. It's to make the best item on the menu so that anybody, when they're reading it, is just saying, like, ooh, I want to try that. I want to see what that looks like. I want to enjoy that. And so that's where you're finding these numbers are growing so much. I mean, there's a top... Um, and the top three bestsellers of all the restaurants in Punta Mita, there's a vegan option in all of them just because it looks more interesting. Mm. So I think people are eating less meat and wanting to look for more plant-based options. But I think that's our jobs as vegan chefs is also to make the food just more, more appealing. So that people just have the best item in the menu and it happens to be vegan. Exactly. It's accidentally yeah. vegan. Yes, accidentally vegan. We're talking to Leslie Durso who whipped up these incredible... Sweet potato stuffed with quinoa and kale and cranberry is a great dish for the holidays. I'm going to urge that snarky vegan girl to do it for our Thanksgiving celebration. And I just want to thank you. Any final thoughts that you want to, uh, by the way, because we do live in the same neighborhood, I might be back for another Lunch Break Live soon. I sure hope so. You're wow. always welcome in my home and in my kitchen. Thank you. I'm just so excited to be talking to your audience. I know that they're all amazing. I've been watching all of your videos the last few weeks, and uh, I just love the community that you've created. So thank you, all of you out there. And if you have any questions about how to have plant-based options at one of your holiday meals, I always know that that's the hardest time for especially new vegans is going home for the holidays where you might be the only person there eating plant-based. And so one of my favorite tips for people is to cook, to cook food like this that anyone can enjoy. My meat eating family loves this recipe and they make me make it for them every Thanksgiving. So doing things like this where you can share with people to spark that conversation as opposed to being preachy and going straight at them. Um, I think is really, really helpful. And if you need any more recipes, I've got over a thousand on my website, lesslaterso.com, and I'll be doing holiday tutorials, releasing almost every day through the holidays. So if you need anything, come find me. Oh my God, Leslie Durso, we are so excited to have you on Lunch Break Live. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to dig in. <laughs> All right. Okay, are we cut?